quarterbacks, pay attention to quarterbacks and have empathy for quarterbacks for so many years. You and I sat up here and we talked about the phenomenal job that Brett Favre did and then what happened last season and then Aaron having to take over in such controversial times, even though he had been groomed for it. Give me your thoughts as a quarterback watching everything unfold via the TV and coming up here and seeing and talking to the guys and from the beginning to the end how you thought not only uh, you know the, the whole event would have affected you as a quarterback but how you thought Aaron Rodgers did it. Well, I think uh, you're either on one side of the fence or, or, or the other with uh, Brett's situation. And Brett brought all that on himself. And when you go for three or four years in a row and you don't know whether you're going to play again and the organization, you got to, as a player, at some point, you always take care of yourself. But you've got to give, uh, give the organization a break and let them know because they're trying to build a football team. And I, the last three or four years, I think a lot of fans were kind of getting tired of it. Well, I don't know if I'm going to come back or not. Now, I'll preface that by saying no one loved Brett Favre and Washington play more than I did. I mean, the guy is nuts as far as a, as a football player because it was entertaining. You know, I, I think I. I, I got to watch this guy because he might throw it behind his back, over his head. I mean, it was crazy. I wish I would have played uh, when when I played with a little more enthusiasm, uh, like Brett. You know, when he throws a touchdown, he sprints 50 yards down the end zone. He acted like a little kid. That's what we all as fans appreciate. One of the things we appreciate about him. Uh, but here in the last three or four years, I think that was getting a little old. But the Packers uh, would jump in the jet and go to Mississippi and beg him to come back, and, and he'd come back. Well, last year was different, and we've had enough. Uh, we're going to name Aaron Rodgers the uh, starter, and then Brett came back and gave his uh, goodbye speech. I think it was in March, and we all assumed that was the end. Well, he changed his mind, came back, and if I were Aaron Rodgers, and when Brett and Deanna came back here in uh, July, I think it was, uh, thinking he might want to come back. If the PAC organization would have said, uh, Aaron, I'm sorry, you know, we said you could be the starter. Uh, we're going to give you the opportunity, but Brett's coming back. If I would have been him and they'd have done that, I would have gone. I'd have walked right out of camp. I said, that's not what you told me, but I said, here you've got a good young guy. Our first round draft choice sat here and learned for three years, and he's ready to play. So the way it turned out, was it popular for everybody? No, but you know, you're either on one side of the fence or the other. And I, I think the Packers did the right thing. Uh, I don't care who you are, if you're going on 39 years old, your career is at the very end, because you just can't do all the things you used to do. So. Time heals everything. We'll all welcome him back, and when he's ready, and come back, retire his number, and and, uh, and everything will be fine. You know, but I think the organization did the exact right thing to do.